When I click on an object, you'll see that we don't have any defined data. So what we're gonna do is we're going to call all the properties in the levels above down to the item level. And we'll do that using Integrator. So I've just applied that and now you can see I have the iConstruct tab with all those properties that we've pulled down from the parent levels. Now that that's done, we can actually apply data links. So now you can see I've appended the equipment number. We're going to do that again and apply the discipline. So we have two fields that we can use for our reconstruct tool. So we're gonna to go to properties and then we're going to select equipment number under our iConstruct tab and hide anything that doesn't have a equipment number assigned. Now we're applying reconstruct and that's going to export a separate NWD file. So that is going to rename our selection tree with the equipment number and the discipline that I assigned to those objects. So we'll just call that one in now. And then I'll just have to select the equipment, the selection tree. And then you'll see now that we have our equipment number and the part number. Next step is when we use reconstruct, it actually clears all levels above the item level. So we need to rebuild the information on that level too. So what I've done is I've created the equipment number, which I've called from the item tab. It was called the name, but we've renamed it equipment number in the transfer using integrator. Now what I've done is I've used data links again and I've appended a work pack number. Now that we have a work pack number, we can now apply audits. And so what audit has done is it's broken down those objects in the model based on the property. And so you can see we have the save viewpoint and selection sets.